what's up everybody? I'm Deshola from Edmonds, and in today's video, we're gonna explain how to drive a stick shift and why you should. This is Jonathan, and by the end of the video, Jonathan's gonna teach me everything that I need to know about driving a manual. One, how to get going from a stop, and two, knowing when and how to up and down shift. Now here at Edmonds, we're known as the car testing pros, and we've teamed up with the experts at CarMax to help you find the right car for your needs. So after all this time driving in a world full of automatics, why do I want to learn how to drive a stick shift? Well, there are a lot of reasons not to, I guess, nowadays, but the apocalypse could happen at any time, you guys. Don't forget that, and I don't want to be left behind. True, there's also the sheer satisfaction of manipulating a complex machine, and plus, I think it makes you a better driver because it requires you to pay attention and plan ahead on the road. Okay, well, I want to be a better driver, so please, teach me. Let's, Let's get to it. We're here inside of this manual. What do I do? I know I need to put my seatbelt on. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know. Safety first, always, Safety first. okay? Seatbelt's on. Yeah. All right, so, um, first things, I know this isn't your first time in a manual, mm -hmm. but for the purposes of this video, I think we're gonna just pretend like you've never driven one, right? Mm -hmm. um, okay. This one's different, too. Yeah. This one looks a little different, and you know, and it's been years, it's been like, a few okay. years since I've even driven. So. All right. So let's get reacquainted. Uh, you got three pedals. On the far left is the clutch pedal. The middle one is the brake, and the right one is the accelerator. Um, so all cars have gears. Uh, well, most cars have gears. Okay. They're electric cars that don't have gears because okay. uh, there's no transmission. But uh, any car with an automatic or manual has gears. We start off in the, the lowest gear. So first okay. gear is gonna be the largest gear. It's gonna help us get going. Then as we pick up more speed, we work our way up. But we're not gonna worry about too many gears. We're gonna get started first. Get started. So I know there's a clutch and all that, and I know people are like, oh my God, there's three, there's three yeah. pedals. What do I do? So right. how do we get it started? Okay, so the clutch's function is to separate uh, the transmission from the engine. When you turn the car on, the engine's always spinning, right? Mm -hmm. um, but you're not always moving. You need to have that separation. Okay. Um, so let's let's get started. Uh, first, uh, make sure that the gear your gear is in neutral. Okay. This one's a little. I know every manual is different. This one's a little hard to figure out neutral, but right. We got that. So neutral is generally in the center, and and a good way of testing that, assuming that you know the the gear pattern hasn't worn out, is to shake it from side to side and make sure that. Okay. Look at that. Look so, at that shake. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay, so we're in neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna push the clutch in because uh, that's what you do to make sure that you have access. The clutch, to the and the clutch is on the left. Clutch right. is on the Just left. So you know the left. And go ahead and hit start. Look at that, one point for me. One point for me, I know how to start the car. All right, All right. that's good. So if you let the clutch out okay. and the car doesn't move, uh, you're in neutral. So okay. We're good to go. Good. Okay. So um, so we have an H pattern here, which is essentially first, second, third, fourth, fifth in an H pattern. Um, so anytime you want to shift gears, whether it's from neutral to first or first to second, you always need to push in the clutch before you make any movement with the, with the, with the gear shift. Okay. Okay. And you always keep your foot on the brake though, right? Like always keep gonna... your foot on the brake. I mean, you know, we're on uh, perfectly flat ground here, so, so we're good. But you know most roads are not flat, so okay. you don't want to you don't want to be rolling away. Okay, so okay. Part, so let me take the e-brake off. Good. Okay, so push the clutch in. Okay. Um, you're gonna select first. I don't know which one. Yeah. So that's that's first gear. Okay. Uh, and so what we want to do right now, we have a gear selected. Our transmission is still separated from the engine. Um, we want to slowly engage that. And so when you let the clutch out. Uh, that is going to cause the clutch to engage with the engine and then you're going to feel us start to move forward. Uh, you kind of feel the, the point at which um, the clutch is starting to engage and, and the car is starting to, to move forward. But then it shook a little bit. I was like, oh! If you want to come to a stop, mm. like, you know, you're not sure what's going on, um, the safest thing is to always go full clutch in okay. and then foot on the brake. Okay, cool. Okay, so if you don't know what's happening, uh, you just want to stop, clutch in, brake, and then you can figure out everything. That's that's going to be your, your fail safe there. Okay, cool. Um, 
And so as we as we start to to engage the clutch, um, the engine is going to start having to work hard. And so uh, when you start to feel the car move forward, you want to start just really slowly feeding in uh, some of the accelerator. All right, so now I'm in first gear. I'm ready to do this. So what I do? <laughs> okay, so foot's on the clutch, depressed yes. all the way okay. as you come off of it and you feel the car creeping start to feed in that, that gas. Very nice, oh, okay? Right. So now we're, leave, now, now we're moving, so foot completely off, off. the clutch. Okay. Nice, now just get, get, a feel for, get a feel for how first gear feels. All right, you hear that? Yep. And so let's, uh, let's try to come to a stop now. So the first thing you're gonna do is press the clutch in to disengage the transmission from the engine. Okay. And then press the, on brake. the brake. Yep. The stop. Excellent. Now let's do the neutral shake. Pull it out of first. Shake it around. Take your foot off the clutch. Nice. Found neutral. <laughs> nice, I'm, man. I'm like, I got, I get one point. I don't know how many points we're doing today, but I get one. One point. Yeah. Let I me mean, give myself points. Just let me give me points. Like you're the instructor, right? <laughs> okay. Hey, you give give all the points. Yeah, I think we need to, you know, self promote some. Exactly. I'm just saying, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. It's been uh, like I said. I feel like I'm going to be a pro at the end of this. All right, so I got the first gear down. What seems to be like the biggest issue for people when you are teaching them? I think it's uh, first getting going in first gear and then knowing when to shift. I've noticed that if you're ever in a car with people who drive a manual, everyone's different. So some yeah. people, they let it rev real high and then they mm -hmm. switch or some people like they do real early. So it's almost like, when do you know to do it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. But you know, it seems like you got a really good feel for first gear. Let's talk about like why we upshift and downshift. So uh, we're driving around in first gear. It feels like you know it's it's kind of a slow gear. You see the the engine RPMs like rise. At some point, it feels a little uncomfortable driving around in first gear. And right? it makes it it's like ah, yeah, it makes a right? lot of lot of noise, okay. right? Um, so just like a bike, uh, you know, you're cranking away in that first gear. Um, by upshifting, you actually have to make fewer revolutions with pedals to go faster. And that's the same idea in shifting to higher gears. We start off the same as we do in first gear. Okay. When you are ready to shift to second, and remember, anytime you make a movement with a shifter, you need to clutch in. Okay. Uh, you're not going to brake. You're, the car's going to keep going. You're going to shift to second gear, and then just as you did with first gear, you're going to be uh, backing off of the throttle, Slowly. yep, letting it out, and then feeding the accelerator back Should in. Should I try it? Let's do Let's it. Let's try it. All right. Nice. That was All nice right. and smooth. That was, that was okay. a good one. That was a good one. Okay, so right about, we'll, we'll, we'll use 3,000 RPM. So okay. when it hits three, go ahead. Beautiful. Oh. Man. Okay. It's, it's like riding a bike, right? It, it, you know what? <laughs> it is. All right, so let's continue in second gear. Let's okay. head back down there. And then again, when you feel like you're ready to stop, first you're gonna come off the, the gas, okay. push the clutch in, okay. and then sh find neutral, push okay. the middle, do the shake. And then like break at the same break. time? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And boom, look boom. at that. What about reversing? Because reversing, I feel like I had, okay, so before we started, mm -hmm. they were like, oh, can you try to move it? And I was like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> and I, I couldn't get the car into reverse. Yeah. This one, I, I didn't know how to do it. Yeah, uh, that's a great question. And um, you know, every car, there are a lot of cars that, that have reverse, uh, have you access reverse differently. Yes. So in this car, you see that the R is, you know, all the way to the left mm -hmm. and up. Whereas in a lot of five speeds, it's all the way to the right and down. For this, um, they, they have what's called a lockout. It's this little collar here. And that's just to ensure that when you go to select first, you don't accidentally select reverse oh, that would be really bad that makes sense okay that makes sense because i was like what is going on and yeah. i kept i was just in neutral and he was like mm. okay so okay so let's try reversing all right so you're gonna pull up on the collar go all the way to the left okay. and up okay reverse is going to be exactly like first gear except we're going to be going this way back yeah when you when okay. you do the thing well and this one does not have a reverse camera so i gotta <laughs> even though you probably should look anyways right yeah we're doing reverse donuts here. Oh, all right. 
All right. Wow, you're you're good at you're good at reverse. So reverse is also gonna kind of have that same feeling of first gear because it's it's one gear and you know there aren't multiple reverse gears because you never want to be driving that fast when you're going back. <laughs> going back yeah, yeah. Um, but it is very much like first gear, so it's gonna have that same sort of uh, feel as you you know as you're coming off the clutch and you're starting to move. So you treat it as like a reverse first gear. Okay. You know, we, we used uh, 3,000 RPM as sort of like a, a basic guideline mm -hmm. for knowing when to shift. Okay. Um, as you get more and more experienced with cars, you're going to be able to tell by the sound of the engine. You're not going to even have to look at the numbers. In fact, like it's better to keep your eyes on exactly. the road. Exactly. Um, but you know, uh, I think when you're practicing, you want to just use all your senses. Use your use your ears to kind of hear what the what the engine RPM that you're shifting at sounds like. That way, you don't need to look at it. So okay. you want to you want to give that a shot really quick while we're oh, like shifting without looking. Yeah, without oh, looking yeah. at the numbers. Okay. Okay, let's do it. So let's get started again in first. Okay. I'm I'm actually not going to say anything and just see. Okay, you're not going to see. Yeah. This is this is the real <laughs> the real driver's uh, test. Okay. 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 Beautiful. Okay. Okay. That may have so, been, was that was that too soon? No, no, no. Should that I... was that was that was great. Um, okay. Uh, so what I want you to do is I want you to I want you to drive down and okay. then uh, when when you feel like you want to shift, I want you to take a look at what the what the RPM looks like. When I feel like I want yeah. to. Okay. And tell me. Right now, I'd look. Oh. It was right at the three. Okay. It was, it was okay. like right above the three. When I okay. Like, what I know about gears is the higher the gear, the faster you can go. Right. 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 right so, right. and then like also sometimes I, it's like a, I'm in third, but I need to go. So I have to like, I have to lower while I'm going, okay. while I'm driving. Right. Yeah. So you actually, did you hear that engine uh, that time? So actually select third gear again. Third gear. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then try to press the gas. Yeah. Try to press the gas. Oh, so, like so you hear that the the sound of the engine drops. It becomes like a really low kind of sound to it. Oh. And um, you know, if actually if this road were starting to go uphill, you would. There's a point at which the third gear wouldn't be able to take us up the hill. Would I start rolling back? You wouldn't start rolling back. Okay. But, oh my God. <laughs> but like, no matter how much you press uh, the gas, it's the car is not going to want to go up. And so in that case, we need to select a lower gear. We need to go back down to second gear okay. uh, so and help the car out a little bit. Try that. Okay, okay, really good. Yeah, that was smooth. So now we're in second gear. The 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 engine sounds fine. Sounds, sounds better. Sounds better, right? Yeah. Okay. And so it's not as shaky either. It's not shaky. So um, you know, if we we're in first gear, it would be really hard to to be smooth with it. Mm -hmm. um, second gear. It sounds good, and it's actually pretty easy to be smooth uh, on the accelerator, right? Okay. All right, so you taught me everything that I need to know, I feel like, which means that everyone at home can drive, or at least can attempt, okay? Yeah. Everyone at home can attempt. I want them to not be afraid, you know? Because nothing yeah. to be afraid of. Just like, just try it. So it's easy. So recap real quick. You get in the car, you put your seatbelt on, you push the clutch down, make, well, you make sure it's in neutral first, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. You push the clutch down, start with first gear, and you do what you need to do. Exactly. All right, let's let's go. I feel like I, I can do it now. Let's see. I'm gonna go a little faster this time. Ooh, that wasn't that smooth. Great. Okay. Is it all right? Yeah. Ooh. I mean, for somebody that hasn't driven in a very long time, I feel like yeah. I it, it, I feel like like I'm a pro now. I don't know if I am, <laughs> but I feel like one. What rating would you give me now that you've seen? that I can uh, kind of do something. I can drive a little bit. Well, I mean, you know, until we get you out on actual roads okay. with like other cars and traffic lights oh. and stuff, I'm gonna be a little conservative. So okay. on, on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give you a seven as far as- uh, A seven, okay. Yeah. Seven is a, is a great score. Have you ever bump started a car? No, a transmission car? what does that mean? It's, uh, it's pretty cool. Essentially, if your battery doesn't have any, doesn't have enough juice to start the car, 
you can actually get the car rolling. So Oh yeah, I know what that means. Yeah. Yes. It's you and me getting out, we're pushing, yeah. you jumping in, putting it in gear, and then letting the clutch out. All right, so yeah, you gave me a seven and that's fine, but I want to at least go for a nine. All right, so I, there's no hills around here, but can I try the bump start or something? Let's do can it. Can you teach me? Yeah. In order for us to push the car, it needs to be in neutral. So go ahead and make sure it's in neutral. I'll have to push it? Like get out and push it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're both gonna I'm like, push oh, it. I'm like, I gotta get, do some real work. Yeah. Okay. And well. so, um, so we're gonna get out. We're gonna, we're gonna push it. Okay. Um, and then you're gonna jump in. While you're pushing. While I'm pushing. So I'm gonna keep the car going. Okay. Uh, we're gonna have the, we can have the car door open. You're gonna, you're gonna jump in. Um, and then uh, you're gonna select, it's, you can select either first or second. I think second is usually a little easier because we're gonna already be moving. So once the car's moving, you're gonna jump in, uh, clutch in, select second gear, and then let the clutch out. Uh, so we're both gonna push the car. Okay. Um, I'll say, all right, go. You're gonna run, jump in, uh, select second gear, and then, and then pop the clutch. Okay, you don't have to. You don't have to do it slowly. In fact, you just want to let the clutch out uh, okay. quick. Okay. I'm excited. I'm nervous a little okay. bit, but let's go. All right. Okay. Let's see how it goes. I'm like okay. a little nervous. All right. Let's go. Okay. We gotta. We gotta try and get some speed. So. Okay. Get the quads in. Jump in and do it as quickly as you can. Push, 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 push. As quickly as I can. All right, go. Okay. Ugh. Woo! I did it. Oh, you guys. I did it, I'm proud of myself. So now you know everything that you need to know about driving a manual, okay? So don't let the transmission keep you from that car that you really want, all right? Let us know what you thought about this video down in the comments below. And of course, let us know which car you'd like to see us review next.